Hello everyone, I'm Jose Santos and I'm a senior reservoir simulation engineer at CMG. Today we're going to discuss how to create and extract a sector model using Builder. First, let's talk about what is a sector model. When you model a reservoir, you usually have a grid corresponding to the whole volume of the reservoir, like this one we have over here, with the total of the existing wells in the reservoir. There are some processes that occurs in local area. For example, let's say that we want to evaluate a pilot of alkaline surfactant and polymer injection that is happening in one of the wells, so the process is very local. So there is no need to run the full field model that is going to take a longer. It will be very beneficial if we can take out a part of the reservoir, like this one we have on the right hand side, and, and, and run it. So the run times in the reduced run will be lower than the full field model. There are two ways to extract some models. The first one is using the UBA of the grid blocks. That means the I, J, and K addresses of each grid block. First, you select the area you want to extract the sun model from using the I, J, and K addresses of these grid blocks. And the result will be a rectangular shape sun model. The other technique is using polygons. With this approach, you can draw a polygon in the reservoir with any shape you want and then extract the sun model from it. The result will be a non rectangular shape sun model. In demo one, we're going to extract a sector model using the UBA. The user is interested in injecting polymer into one of the wells, exactly this well, POSO Injector 2. And he wants to see the impact over these producers. So he doesn't need to run the whole full field model that takes over one hour. He can extract a suit model in this small area and simulate the process in detail. So let's, let's move to an aerial view. The area of interest is this one over here, and we want to extract the sun model using the UBA. So to do that, first we're going to do click into this bottom edit grid. Click on OK. Then go to reservoir. Edit grid and extract soup model. In this window, we're going to put the IJK direction of the sector model. For this example, the sub model goes from I1 to I40, from J70 to J105, and from K1 to K23. So here is the suit model that we want to extract. Click on OK. This message is telling me that one of the aquifers was deleted because it was outside of the sector. Click on OK. And here we have the suit model we no longer have the full field model. This is only the sector. So we need to save this with another name because we cannot go back. Our second demo is going to be extract a sector model using polygons. Here we have the same full field model. The first thing that we want to create is the polygon. So using this option over here called polygons, we are going to create the polygons. Click on it. I'm going to move this to the side and I'm going to select the points that belongs to the polygons. For example, something like this. Over here, maybe a last point over here and click on close polygon. 
look that the polygon name is polygon one. Click on OK. And I'm going to close this window. Then again, I'm going to click on the bottom, Edit Grid, and click on OK. Go to Reservoir, Edit Grid, Extract Suit Model. Look that we have this option over here, Select Polygon, and we can click on Polygon 1, and automatically the sector that we want to take out is highlighted. If we are satisfied, satisfied with that, we are going to click on OK. Again, the same message saying that the aquifer was deleted because it didn't belong in the sector model. Click on OK. And here we have our sector model. Look that the shape is not rectangular. It has the shape of the polygon. Let me go for a 3D view. So here is our new sector. The user should not confuse the term sector model and flux boundary model. Both of them simulates a sector of a full-field reservoir, but with a big difference. Let me use this example to demonstrate the difference. Here we have a full-field model, and the user wants to take out only a small volume of the reservoir to model a pilot, located over here. So first, let's use a sector model. With this technique, you have to select the area of the sector model. In this case, this is the area we want to create the sector from. And using Builder, you can extract the suit model. This small model is a non-flux boundary. That means that there is no movement of fluids or pressure going on in the border of the sector. Now, let's see how the flux boundary model works. Let me bring back the fulfill model. In this model, we select the flux boundary sector and run the fulfill model. With this technique, the flux or pressure occurring in the border of the sector is being recorded on a separate file. This information is going to be used in the reduced run to replicate the movement of fluids or pressure distribution along the borders during the runtime. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this information useful and see you next time in our next video.